morning, everybody. It's DJ NV Jess Hilarious, Charlemagne the Guy. We are the Breakfast Club on this Valentine's Day. Now, Charlemagne gave Donkey of the Day to who? I gave Donkey of the Day to all of the people who don't want to, um, you know, hold themselves accountable and just admit that they're terrible people. You know, they have a lot of toxic traits. And the reason that they're single on Valentine's Day is because of them. And it's mm. not because of nobody else. It's so, because you won't go do no work on yourself. Mm. So we're asking this morning... Can you admit that it's you that you're single today? Now, Jess is far from single, right? Yes. But at one point in your life, you had to admit. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, in my my early 20s, yeah, absolutely. I was. I was a very much a bad person. You was out here. I was definitely out here. <laughs> Why are you it. smiling? <laughs> because those was the times. <laughs> Those was the good old days? Those was the good times back in the day. <laughs> but I would never want to do that now. Yeah. Yeah. When did you realize it was you? No, I always knew it was me. I just didn't care. Got you. You get what I'm saying? I always knew. I always knew it was me. I didn't care. So then when I got old, I was like, oh, I got this from my father. But you say you had a good man at one point, though. At one point. He was good. Real good, man. I met him in a barbershop. Everything was cool. It was lit. He had a job. Like, he cared about Ash. Everything, man. He told my son how to walk. Everything. It was crazy. And then I cheated on him for this nigga, the man that looked like Tupac Shakur, yo. He looks so good. And... It don't sound like you regret it. It's, it's not at all. <laughs> I mean, just an in here grinning and blushing. Like, what the hell? Look, yes, and now the boy is on drugs. Really? Yeah, he back and forth out of jail on drugs. He got shot in the butt twice. Shot and, in the butt? No, let, seriously. Like, people think it's a game. Baltimore was some crazy You streets. led that man to a deep depression. You yeah. broke that man heart. Yeah, I actually did. And that's Damn. why I felt like out of nowhere, then that's when everybody started cheating on me. And I already knew where it was coming from. Like I Ooh. said, I always knew I was a bad person. I just didn't care until Damn. I got older. Like, all right, I'm getting tired of this now. Like, everything started happening to me that I started doing, that I b- began doing to others. Like, I was like, oh, man. So you you recognized that? You held yourself yeah. accountable? Yeah, and I was single for a minute. I was like, all right, yeah, I got to chill because I got to work on me. Like, that's a real thing. Mm. You don't realize, like, yo, you hurting people, even when you young, it don't matter how old you are. That stuff stick with people. That's right. Yeah, because, like, no, he's seriously on drugs. Well, man. let's go to the phone lines. Yeah. Hello, who's this? It's Mikey B, man. Mikey D, can you admit that it's you? Mikey B, man. B? If I, if I, it's me, man. <laughs> okay. All right. Good. First Thank step, you, Mikey. First step, me, first, I, first step to accountability. Yeah, yeah, is, is, about the, the me. At times, I do feel miserable, though. Definitely you, miserable at times, but it's not miserable where I want to hate somebody else, though. What do you think you need? You need, you, you need to start going to therapy or something? Of course, I'm, 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 I'm waiting on it now. I got, I'm waiting on my insurance to click through. Well, when your insurance click through, man, you go to therapy. You know what I'm saying, and you try to figure some things out. You can actually go to. Uh, I'm gonna give you a website. Go to acomaproject.com. You can go to mentalwealthalliance.com or go to acomaproject.com. And uh, my good sister, Dr. Alfie, she has uh, some things up there that you can uh, uh, you, some, some some potential free therapy. I said potential free therapy. Yeah. Potential free therapy. Go to acoma acomaproject.org. I'm sorry. You said it like six times. Oh, right, right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, acomaproject.org. Yeah, Dr. Br- Alfie Brelay and Noble. You heard the list? the list? Yeah, he was all over the place with that Shut one. Up. Mm-hmm. Hello, who's this? Jeez. This is B. Hey, good morning. Can you admit that you good are the morning. problem? Okay, so I'm no longer single, but when I was single, after dealing with the same kind of people multiple times, I realized I was the problem, mm-hmm. and I went to therapy. I'm actually still in therapy. Nice. And started, work, and started working through, it was childhood trauma that basically determined the kind of man that I was dead. That's and right. Uncle Sean, I have to say, you are probably the reason I finally went to therapy because my mom was trying to get me in the therapy for years, and I refused to do it. Well, I'm mm, happy to be wow. there. I, I'm sending you nothing but positive energy, love, dope. and light. You keep dope, healing. Dope, dope. And what? And once I started doing the work and realizing what the issues were, I finally got my person. Wow. Mm. You see what we learned here today? Don't Congrats. matter if you're a man, yep. don't matter if you're a woman, no matter if you're a they. Mm-hmm. Holes can heal. Oh, my God. <laughs> that's, that's what you're I'm definitely out here. Holes can heal. <laughs> you know what? I'm, I'm a healed hoe. I think your wholeness can be deleted. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> 
1051. It's Valentine's Day. Charlemagne gave Donkey that day to all you single people out there that you're the problem. You're and the that's problem. what we want to know. We want to know if if you can admit that you are the problem. That's Call it. us up right now. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. I'm uh, letting you know. I'm what? Oh, I can't branch. hear you. What did you say? You what now? Oh, boy. I'm a monkey branching. I'm a Morgan Freeman, bunny hopping narcissist that admits that it's me. I'm the problem. It's me, son. Oh, we knew that. Okay. We knew that a long time ago. Yeah, okay, okay, yeah. okay. That's what he, okay, Donnell is the problem. I stare directly into the sun, but never in the mirror. It must be so exhausting, always searching for the anti hero. Mm. I admit it. And it don't matter what type of mental health therapy sessions you try to have Charlemagne and get this cult to follow you and think that you're just therapist. Nobody cares about that, and people can be settled, and people can admit, and people can be narcissists. That's the new wave, son. Okay, how bye. Long did it take you? Bye, bye, how long did it take you? Bye. Have a great day. We love you. Have a great yeah, day. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV Jess Hilarious, Charlemagne the Guy. We are the Breakfast Club. If you're just joining us, we're talking about Charlemagne's donkey of the day. All you single people out there, can you admit that it's you? Mm. You want to talk about the donkey, Charlemagne? Oh, you just said it. Donkey donkey <laughs> went to everybody out there, you know, who has zero accountability and can't admit that they're the problem. Like, you know, they have toxic traits. Mm -hmm. They're terrible people. They got a bunch of unresolved trauma that they bring into relationships. And the reason their relationships don't ever work is because they've never done any work on themselves. Yeah. So we're opening up the phone lines. 800-585-1051. Can you admit that it's you? Hello, who's this? This is Tanya Envy. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Jess. Good morning, Charlotte. Peace, peace. Good morning, Listen, huh? Charlotte's talking out the side of his neck. Come Period. on, Charlotte. Period. Uh oh. I'm fifty I'm fifty seven. I'm beautiful, probably go for forty something. I'm single because I choose to for the last year and a half. Not because no toxic this, no toxic that, never have, never been. But I'm enjoying life. I'm not dealing with the BS. I take my 19-year-old out for Valentine's Day if I choose to. He has a girlfriend, but no, it's because I choose to be by myself this Valentine's Day you, or any other know, Valentine's Day if you, I was you with know, someone. You know, during Donkey, I said, you know, if the Puma fits, you're going to wear it today. I also said that there's people out there who are single and happy by choice. So this shouldn't even apply to you, but you know them hit dogs be hollering sometimes. Oh man. my god! Uh -oh. No, I'm not, I hit dogs. No, not at all. I, and I'm from I, South I, Florida. I, no hit, no hit dogs, Charlotte. No hit dogs. But you said anybody who's single. Yes, he did. On man. Valentine's he did Day. That man. You, yes, he did. I was, yes, being, yes, he I was did. very specific. I said the people. Nephew, who, you said, try to cover it up at the end. No, of that's right. Don't let him talk to you like I that. I said the people who buy humbug Valentine's Day. The people that are no. Grinches on oh. Valentine's Day. The people that are oh, single and happy. Add all the, that, but you. The, you kept stressing by no. yourself. By Don't let him talk yourself. to you like that, Kenya. <laughs> no. You're a toxic. No, that's right, Miss no. Kenya. I even quoted stats about women who are enjoying the single life. I Where do you get the stats from, though? Yeah, I am. I that's am. right. I am, because I hit that easy button so fast, you don't even know how fast I hit that easy button. Don't back that's down, Kenya. Can, can I ask you a question, though? Can I ask you a question? Mm -hmm. is, 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 there, the question? is there a small part of you that says to yourself, it might be me? No. I, listen, I am I am a beautiful person, but I, am, I can be a B-I-T-C-H. Mm. But I tolerate what I want to tolerate, and I don't tolerate certain BS. Yeah. And that's all it is. And listen, she is old enough and has had many experiences to, to be able to say Thank that. you, Jess. Okay, yeah. you understand? Yeah, because listen. Thank you. My, my boyfriend mother feel the same way. She on her way into 62, and she is fine yeah. with just being around okay. like, the children and just don't being have a line of family. stress. Don't nobody got time. How many vibrators you Thank want, man? Thank you. At Jesus. All. How many not, not a one. I don't. Not a one. I don't even want to be tempted. Oh, not a one. Oh, oh she going I don't crazy. Play those games. She going crazy. You if going I'm crazy. no, if I'm if I'm with somebody, <laughs> shout out with somebody. Yes. I don't need no vibrators. That's I'm right. single right now. A strong, single, single, single. A strong indicator of poor character is how someone behaves when they are shown to be wrong about something. You know, folks who always deflect and blame uh -oh. others and. You know, change. That's you, right, Charlotte? Right? That's you, right? Oh, whoa, 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 you have all. You have all the answers. Whoa, whoa! That's you. Why you have all the answers. Why you come back every time? You ain't got the answers. <laughs> well, Kenya. <laughs> what? Yes, he does. Do you think? Kanye, that, baby, you think there's any good men out there? You think there's any good men out there, man? 
Yeah, they are. They are. They are. They're probably Alabama and Mississippi, but not in South Florida. Mm. <laughs> so all the, all the men in South Florida. I need, South I need Florida a dude with a flip phone. I need somebody with a flip phone. I don't need a. Android, iPhone. That's right, Kenya. You tell him. Thank you. She, she, she wants somebody the, with a flip oh, yeah, phone. She wants right. right. My name back. is Tanya. Oh, Tanya. Tanya I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm yeah. sorry, Tanya. Yeah, yeah. Yes. She Tanya. wants the old fashioned men back. She wants the men who ain't trying to keep up with the young women. She wants she want the old men like that. She don't want a Shannon Shaw. Well, Tanya, she you have a Shannon good 55. She don't want a Valentine's. Sha- Shaquille O'Neal. <laughs> Shannon 55. She, she want a Morgan Freeman type okay. of man. She want a man that know he old. Yeah. Okay, okay. And okay. been old since the beginning of time. Well, Tanya, they cut you off. <laughs> we just want to say have a great Valentine's, Tanya, whatever you do out there today. It ain't going to be nothing to do with Valentine's. <laughs> okay. You enjoy another, yourself. another day for Tanya. You buy yourself some chocolate. You buy yourself some flowers. Lord have you mercy. You love on yourself tonight. Lord have mercy. Tonight. I'm just saying, if there ain't oh, no good man. men in South Florida, not one none it, it might be you Jesus. if that's how you see South Florida it might be you that's all I'm saying who the hell is this oh my god Morgan Freeman <laughs> <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> uh uh okay hello what's going on how you doing how you feel oh man I'm good is it you is it you no it's my ex mom's my wife pretending to be my ex wife. Ooh. Oh, she was the problem? Oh yeah, she was definitely the problem. That message you put out there this morning, bro, uh on, on everything I love, that needed to be put out there, man. Because you have a lot of people out there that really think that they don't come short. We all fall short somewhere, man. Yeah. Yes indeed. And it's very important to examine yourself. Absolutely. You know, my wife, I, my wife, I did everything for her. Never missed holidays, never missed birthdays, but she don't own up to nothing. Mm. And when I say nothing, I mean nothing. She don't work. She don't do nothing. I try to get her to join me with the business. She don't even want to help with that. Mm. But I never miss Valentine's Day or none of that. And I said, I'm not going into the new year doing the same thing. And that's why I'm here now. I'm leaving her now. I'm, I'm working now, but I'm the 23rd. I'm moving down south. And that's it, because I can't continue to do it, man. She don't own up to nothing. And guess what our favorite word is? What is it? Everybody's a donkey. Damn. I said, what? Uh, she, what? Need to, she need to own that one this go around. Because this, you know, and man. And uh, for me to get through to y'all, because you use that donkey thing, that he all he all Man, <laughs> and that's our favorite line. It's a bunch of donkeys around here. But she don't own up to anything, man. And mm. I really, you know, I've got mad love for her. And I still, you know, got feelings for, but I can't really deal with people, man, that can't admit when they fall short. Because yeah. we all do, man. Damn. That's right. Well, well, thank you. Good. like a great Examine king. yourself and be good. That's well, right. Thank you, you for checking like in. like a great king, and then there's somebody out there for you. <laughs> Maybe it ain't her. That is it. Jesus. All right. Well, what's the moral of the story? The moral of the story is I'm going to keep saying is you got to go out there and do the work on yourself. Yeah. I don't care what y'all say. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Take accountability. And don't only take accountability. Like you said, it just stops there. Like, I, it don't just stop there. Like, I took accountability, and then I just started working on myself, That's teaching right. myself self-love. You don't even really know when you don't love yourself until you actually got time alone with yourself. Mm. Like, until you, like, you do it. Because I'm telling you, I was jumping, like, from relationship to relationship, uh, kept a roster, whatever, when I didn't want to be in a relationship. But I never, ever ever sat by myself until like mid 20s like yo like toward the end of my 20s like you know what being by myself actually does bring me peace well that's good you know what i'm saying that's actually good and you know i would tell everybody out there you know that's by themselves this morning oh boy if you think you lonely now, <laughs> Jesus, all right, just, just wait until the night. Jesus, all right. that's right, that's right, Bobby that's was right. He was a savage, y'all. That's crazy. <laughs> he worse than the rappers today. Oh boy, he said, "Wait, tuck yourself in the night, bitch. See what happens." <laughs> Well, we got it's Jess with the mess. It's games now. But boy, when you try to go to sleep, Whoa. man, when you having dinner around 6 o'clock and it's just you and that plate, Jesus. Lord have mercy. Jess with the mess is next, so don't move. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.